these female recruits are the first female recruits to ever arrive on MCRD San Diego. You are now Board Marine Corps Recruit Depot San Diego, building 622 receiving companies. Today will be the first day that we have female recruits training here at MCRD San Diego alongside male recruits. The NDA has directed that both depots be integrated, so we are preparing ourselves for that mission. Women have been serving in the Marine Corps since 1918, and we have done so well. And today is a huge part of our Marine Corps history in showing the world that we will train anyone who steps on these yellow footprints. I am the commanding officer of Support Battalion uh, Recruit Training Regiment, uh, MCRD San Diego. My unit is the first team of Marines that greets the recruits at the yellow footprints. They are the drill instructors that are responsible for beginning the transformation as they enter into recruit training. My position here is the female SDI for receiving company. I am the first visualization of a female drone instructor to them on this side. It's not Paris Island, it's San Diego now. If you leave my base without authority, we will hunt you down and throw you in jail. Do you understand? Yes, sir! It's a shocker, and it feels good to be a part of it. Um, the females that come here, especially this first group, they're gonna feel a lot of pride because they're the first ones, and this is history. They're helping make history. They process them, they get them through all of their medical gear issue, uniform issue, and other requirements. They run the initial strength test, which is a one and a half mile run, pull-ups, crunches, and then we take them over and we drop them to a training battalion. I'm the regimental commander for the recruit training regiment here at MCRD San Diego. This proof of concept is going to afford us the opportunity to see what potential other resources we need, maybe infrastructure modifications that need to be made, but more importantly, manning. Making the drill instructors to do that mission here is probably the longest pole in the tent for us, because we've never done that before until most recently in our last graduating class, which uh, had three female drill instructors that we, we made on our own for the first time. Class 1TAC21 was the first integrated drill instructor school class that we conducted where we had three female students who attended the training. The three female new drill instructors came in ready to, ready to work, ready to put in the effort, integrated right in and, you know, conducted the training and we've had no issues. At Paris Island, it's an all-contained training venue, all there on the island. Uh, four weeks of our training is conducted up north at Camp Pendleton, so that's quite different. The POI, Program of Instruction, is the same. There are slight modifications due to our geographical differences. So by having those drill instructors made here, it makes them more successful ultimately in their mission. I've always wanted to be a drill instructor, always. I chose to come here because I wanted to see the conduct of the, the drill instructors. I worked at the Recruit Training Regiment, S1, and Colonel Palmer, he came up to me and he asked me, do I want to be a drill instructor here and do I want to go to drill instructor school on September 29th? And with no hesitation, I told him yes. It was challenging at drill instructor school, physically demanding, do it. anything I put my mind to, I'm, I'm, I'm going to do it, just regardless, I'm going to do it. One of the best benefits of, of this proof of concept is that we provide flexibility for the service and more opportunities for Marines that would want to be drill instructors here on the West Coast. Say a Marine is stationed at Camp Pendleton or Miramar and their spouse wants to be a drill instructor, then they can be co-located. So it just, it opens up more opportunities for the Marine Corps and certainly for our Marines. I heard about the opportunity to be one of the first females to go to drill instructor school and I took the opportunity. I never imagined that I would be here in San Diego. Yeah, I was very excited because I was willing to go to Paris Island, but my husband is a drill shooter here. Going into this, we knew it was going to be 
extremely difficult. We've been under our mic microscope. Everybody knows who we are and everything that we do, every, every small mistake that we make is very highlighted and it's a lot of pressure. One of the, the reasons that we did this integration is to reduce gender bias in the Marine Corps. If you want e efficiency and effectiveness, then you need more than one perspective. I've had a drawing to the Marine Corps since I was little. My gunny called and they, he asked if I wanted to come here and I immediately said yes. And knowing that I get to graduate on the same parade deck that my dad graduated on and that all my friends get to graduate on and that I got to stay closer to home. It's like my family hopefully can come here because if I went to Paris Island, they wouldn't be able to come see me graduate. I think the hardest thing is just getting past kind of those historical biases and those gender biases, that's, that's our biggest challenge, is getting people to see that recruit training is probably more difficult than it was 10, 20 years ago. We have been working really, really hard at focusing our training on improving what we refer to as the five attributes that are expected of every Marine. Previously, you know, a lot of emphasis on physical and mental toughness and war fighting spirit to the detriment of the other three attributes, which are exemplary character, leadership, and decide act, communicate if you are a leader. This is just the beginning of the transformation, right? Recruiting them is step one. Uh, making them from civilian to Marine is step two. We're only two steps into this multi-step process where they're gonna be made into the, the Marine that they're meant to be. Any unit you go to in the Marine Corps, we are fully integrated. So integrating at the foundational level here at Recruit Training, when it's the start of a Marine's career, shows that we are all U.S. Marines, no matter who we are. We're all here to uh, serve and earn the title Marine. We're the U.S. Marines on our breast pocket. My grandfather was in the Marine Corps, and then my father, he's a Sergeant Major. To be able to have the pride to say that I took on this challenge makes me feel very honored. At the end of the day, Regardless of what gender you are, we're all here for the same goal, which is to be a Marine. The female team that we have prepared to pick up with Lima Company was handpicked at Paris Island, the leadership at least, and then sent here. Me and my senior drill instructors, we just came over from Paris Island. We did three years over there. We volunteered. We told our company first arms to throw our names out there so that way we can come over here and make integration happen. I was on my last cycle on Paris Island. I had been approached about the possibility of coming to San Diego. I said I'd do it and I was ready to go. We are bringing anyone to the Yellow Footprints and that it is a recruit. It's not a male recruit, it's not a female recruit. It is a recruit. 